Hello everyone, it is Hyperforce and welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach and today you guys are joining me in the quest to top 50 episode number, um, number, was it, I don't know, you see it in the title of the video, I don't know what I'm trying so hard. Hello everyone, it is Hyperforce and welcome back to another episode of the quest to top 50, today we're finally back once again. On our base, as you guys can see, 832 victory points. I have over 10,000 diamonds, which are charged up for the sole purpose of me uh, getting my troops back. I haven't spent a single penny on instant finishing uh, whatever I have. And I really want to try hard to make my way into the top 50 uh, of the local Dutch leaderboard. So let's go ahead and take a look what our standing is right now. So we're going to go here to the local Dutch leaderboards. And we're going to go here. And one thing that I noticed is if we go to the cutoff point at rank 50. Uh, right now if you want to get to rank 50 you need over a thousand victory points to do so. So it has been increasing over time which is completely fine with me because that means that the challenge is on. But you know so to speak I'm currently rank 316. I'm doing pretty well even though I say so myself. Far better than <laughs> Mr. Benton. Pew pew shots fired right there. But you know I'm gonna be trying my best to get up to like, I don't know, I have a lot of bases that I can conquer, right? Like, look at this. This is all, all of the white fix behind it means that I have bases to take down. So, it's just a whole lot of bases that I can go ahead and take down. I'm fairly certain I'll be able to reach 850 in this episode. So, that's going to be pretty hyped up. And, um... Today I'm going to be using a combination of Heavy Zooka and the Warrior. Which is kind of what I feel, what I feel floats my boat. And I'm going to give you a little update before we get started. I am right now done with all of my boom cannons and all of my rocket launchers. They're all maxed out. Let's take a look. Level 13, level 13, level 13. Yes, it is finally here. I started upgrading this cannon over here. I'm going to max this one out to level 20. After that, I'm going to get started on this cannon over there. Um, how much resources do I need for this one? We need about 300,000 more wood for this and uh, like 40,000 stone. So we can get this one started in this episode today. It's going to be pretty interesting. Let's see what we got for our statues today. So we got a... Oh, wow! Woo! Look at this! This is freaking awesome! 8% more than I already got? Whoa, hold up. Let me recheck. You can only have... I have a 20... Oh, wow, that is freaking awesome! How much is it? Is it building damage? Oh, man! Woo! Dang, dang, oh, dang! <laughs> that makes me feel really awesome. You know that warm and fluffy feeling you sometimes get whenever stuff happens? That's what I'm having right now. Anyway... <laughs> deploying this what a beginning of an episode is that a, like a welcome back present from boom beach because if it is then i'll be sure to never leave again until i reach the top 50 you know kind of what inspired me to keep on going with this series is a, a fellow task force member which has been doing really really well his name is is yolo and he's level 58 he's only a couple of levels above me and you got gladiator over there level 53 he's actually levels below me and look at how well these guys are doing surely if they can do it i kind of feel that i should be in the ability to do as as well so yeah that's just kind of how i feel about that so what we're going to be doing is so uh, we're going to be going all easy mode i'm going to be boosting up my troop damage and i'm going to be boosting up my gunboat energy and do i boost up my resource award nah let's not do it let's actually make a way uh go to the map get some chests two diamonds over here two diamonds over there are there any more I think there are, but uh, maybe not. No, doesn't seem like there are. Okay, let's go by the list. Let's start from the bottom and work our way to the top. We're going to be kicking this off with the Polat Alamdar. Let's go. So, okay, what do we see over here? We see a maxed out shock launcher. Both of them are maxed out. We see two shock blasters, which we want to be taking out. I think for Heavy Zooka, for me, what I always do is try to take out the rocket launches first. So that is exactly what I'm going to be doing right now. Let's attack Polat and see how well we're going to be doing on this base. There we go. One barrage over here. And then another barrage goes right around here. And then I think we might be needing one artillery or maybe even two to take this out. Two artillery in this case. Man, does he boost it up on ice or something? 
Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're going to be taking this one out as well, too. Hopefully, there's going to be enough. Yes, it is. And then I think I'll have enough to boost to get rid of this one as well. Because rocket launchers are uh, the ones that I try to avoid as much as I can. Two artilleries over here. Leaves me with 13 gunboat energy. And that seems good enough for me to make my, uh, make my move here. So what do I have? I have a Vizuka over here. Let's actually go ahead and attack straight in the middle. Because we gotta be taking care of those regular cannons and the boom cannons. And I'm gonna be dropping... A not yet waiting for everything to arrive. I'm gonna be dropping a shock bomb over here And I'm gonna be dropping another shock bomb if I can over here at the left side extending the shocking of the shock launcher Here we go right now moving on to the shock launcher because then after that they're hopefully going to be going for like the cannons and the boom cannons They're getting some critters at the right side to distract the pack Getting a mad kid over there at the top to heal some heavies. And then I think we should be good to go. Uh, taking out the shock launcher. Uh, there we go. I'm uh, not the shock launcher. Taking out the shock blaster. And we're off to go. Okay, so what do we do after this? We are going to be getting some critters in the middle there. So that way, uh, you know, the critters are going to be distracting like the sniper towers and stuff. And I can uh, just work on making my way uh, onto this base. Dropping the mad kid right now as well. How many heavies do I got left? Like only four of them. So I'm kind of in a in a tight spot here. Gotta be making sure that my heavies at least survive. Dropping the medkit onto the heavies. There's one heavy at the right side there. Okay. Take out the mortar as well. Mortar is pretty dangerous. Okay. Heavy is still alive. Drop the med. Oh, heavy is gone. Okay. Shock launcher might kill off my Zookas. But I'm not sure. So far the medkit is doing its work. We got some units at the right side there, but, uh, you know, it all comes down to the Zookas right now. Are we going to be able to take down this base? That's going to be the question. We seem to be doing pretty well, but, oh my god, this is going to be so close. We only have one Zooka left, like, literally. Only one? Oh, man. That sucks. Let's retreat to the back. Come on, do it. Go to the back side there. Go to the critters. Follow the critters. Just force yourself onto the critters, getting another flare, and I think we are going to be winning this one. It's going to be so close, guys. It's going to be so incredibly close. Uh, oh, they're actually focusing the shock launcher, and boom, it goes down. Wow, what an adventure. We actually took down this base, which I honestly didn't expect I was going to be doing after I got so much damage from the surrounding buildings and so on and so forth. So we took it down. That's really awesome. Let's switch things up. Let's go to the Warriors right now. And I'm going to be attacking the next base on the map. Okay, so the next base we're going to be attacking is this level 49 guy. That uh, isn't really all that high level. So I don't really expect myself to have a whole lot of difficulties with this base. I do want to be taking out like the regular boom mines and stuff and so on and so forth. So that's what we're doing right now. Kind of taking care of the mines here. Uh, deploying my warriors, going with the triangle uh, formation, as I always do. And I don't think, I don't expect the mines to be hurting that much. So I kind of see my warriors making it in one piece uh, at the headquarters. There we go. They're starting to get into the wrap. But if I drop my medkit in time, we should be good to go. So what am I going to be taking out with this one? Well, I figure I should be focusing on like big hitters. Because, you know, the base is going to be going down very easily and if I just you know flamethrowers I'm not going to be doing anything on this low level type of base so that's kind of like if I know for sure that I'm going to be taking out the base real easy uh, I always shock like boom cannons and regular cannons so that way I don't lose my warriors because you know with two mad kits or yeah with two mad kits I should already be able to heal up my warriors against low level machine guns and uh, low level uh, flamethrowers so that is my um you know, my thought process there. Let's go. Anyway, let's go to level 53 GL. This time around, um, if we attack the front side here, we might be in trouble for losing a lot of units. Um, I see somewhat of a weak point here, which is this mortar over here. We can just take that one out alongside with the mine. And I think for this one, I want to be making my way to the left side over here. Yeah, over here. And then diagonally go to the base. Like, make my way up to the base fairly easily. Let's get a smoke in here. You know, that's all we need. My warriors are gonna be just fine. 
All right, we made it. And then from here, uh, let's make our way up to the iron mine. You know, this walking is a little bit tricky from here, so I gotta be careful in the way I'm gonna be walking this. And then one, two, three, should be good to go, I think. I don't think the mines will kill me. No, they don't, or do they? No, they don't, okay. It was pretty close, honestly. But we made it. I think I can get this uh, shock launches in just one shock. So we're going to be doing just that. And getting um, our medkits in there as well. Should be good to go. One more hit. And boom. That goes down the base of GL. Very easy base to take down with the Warriors. If you have enough gunboat energy to do so. Um, you know, I always have to boost up my gunboat energy regardless. Oh, wow. We got a crystal. That's pretty cool. That means that we already got one power powder back. Uh, from take from boosting up our stuff. So let's get our warriors back and let's head on to the next base Okay, so this next base we're gonna be attacking is a little bit more tricky um, I'm gonna be taking care of the uh, Sniper tower over here because there's a lot of mines hiding behind the statues and whenever I scouted this base uh, I saw that he has maxed out mines. So uh, six of those mines already do a ton of damage onto my heavies uh, onto my uh, Onto my warriors, and that's kind of why I, why I decided to uh, to kind of take the safe route there. All right, making our way up to where we need to be. Let's uh, drop a artillery onto uh, the uh, machine gun. I think it would be a cool idea to heal up here because uh, look at the the rats zones into the power bars. The I don't even know what I'm talking about. It's been a while since I've done one of these episodes, so please bear with me. It's gonna be fine regardless though. Just a matter of getting used to it. Oh, did you see that? I actually did lose a couple of units uh, because of those mines. So yeah, they're pretty deadly guys. They're pretty deadly. Let's drop some medkits here. I hope that I'm gonna be able to survive this one. Kinda looks good to me, but I am gonna be suffering some casualties here. I think I lost about half of my force. Not a little bit less than half of my force. About 60% uh, is still alive of all of my units. So uh, yeah, we're getting the win here. And that brings us right now at a total of four, 840 victory points. So that's going to be pretty cool. What I'm going to be doing is taking on NPC bases now. I'm going to be doing that in speed up mode. You guys will be able to enjoy some music. And I'll meet you guys back again whenever every single NPC base is gone. Here we go. Alright, so seeing as we took out every single NPC base, there were five of them. I managed to get myself one prototype uh, module, which was a complex gear. Pretty happy about that, but right now let's go ahead and take a look at this base of only level 48. Uh, this guy should be pretty easy, there's a shock launch in the works right now. And there's a couple of mine at the headquarters, so let's actually go ahead and drop a barrage over there. 
And then I feel I should be, um, we should be good to go actually. Let's go here to the mortar over here. The mortar is not going to be, uh, mortar is going to be uh, just uh, the best place for me to start at. And then from the mortar we're going to be walking straight to the sniper tower. From the sniper tower we're going to be working our way onto the boom cannon. Because I don't want to be walking into any of the boom mines that might be uh, following me. So there are no boom mines there. It seems like it. That is always a good thing. And then we're going to be walking to the headquarters. And dropping the mad kid. And the warriors made it up there safe and sound without a single casualty. How awesome is that? So uh, basically we need to shock everything that can potentially really hurt us. So let's go ahead and do just that. And then drop an artillery onto the sniper tower that will hit me. And there it goes out. Not a single casualty against this base of only. Uh, I have a lot of respect for this guy making it up there so high on uh, 821 victory points. That means that he's been doing really well offensively in Boom Beach. Because otherwise there wouldn't be uh, a way for him to make his way up there. Anyway, let's go to the next base. Level 55. And this might, this man might be hard to beat. So let's see what this one's going to be all about. Um, I think we'll be good to go regardless. Okay, let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Let's make a way to the flamethrower. Just like that. Pshew. And we did get hit, but that is just fine. I don't mind. One artillery here. And then from there, we're going to be walking straight to the machine gun. One, two, three. Now I think four smokes will be enough to make my way up there. So let's go ahead and heal up at the machine gun because we need it. We almost died. We actually did lose a, a few warriors already. So we should be careful. Dropping the smoke first, then the uh, flare. Making my way up there. Boom! Some more. All my units are gone right now, but I think we should still be good to go if we shock all of this and get the mad kids in the works just in time for us to take down this base. But once again, we're going to be getting quite a few casualties here, so I feel it's time to swap back to the heavy Zuka attack combination to see how well we're going to be doing there. As you guys can see, three full landing crafts are completely gone, and uh, we're doing great work when it comes down to gathering those medals. I mean, we are definitely getting closer to top 50. Uh, it will take us a while to get there regardless, but you know, I have a great feeling about this. So you know what? Let's go ahead and attack another base. Okay, so this next base is the base of Laoda, and he actually has some stuff boosted up. So this one might be a challenge, but I saw a really great weak spot at this base, and I actually intend to fully abuse that. So let's go ahead and drop an artillery on here to so hopefully take out the cannon. The cannon goes down and then you guys probably guessed it already. It is time for the Smokey Zuka attack combination. So the Smokey Hookah are gonna make their way from... What do you say here? So you guys are gonna be walking there. I hope. And then from there you guys are hopefully going to walk your way uh, right around here. Dropping two smokes to get all of them in there. And then smoking everything in between to make sure that they keep smoked. And then gonna keep them smoked. I'm pretty happy that those warriors were pulled back a little bit by the shock launcher. Because that gave me some time for my Zookas to recover. And there you go. We made it at our destination. Let's actually pop in a mad kit over there at the location to heal everything up uh, just a tiny little bit. Uh, enough to the point where we can actually go and try to take down the base. Let's go ahead and shock what's necessary to shock. Uh, every single mortar needs to be taken care of. As you guys can see, we're going to be taking down this base with quite the ease. I think two more hits and one more hit. Oh, it goes down. There it goes. And look at the casualty. Uh, look at our casualties. It's not even a whole lot. And it was a great takedown, I gotta say. Oh, that goes down with a bang. And I'm pretty sure he didn't expect to see this one coming. So let's go ahead and get our units back and get ready to attack the next base. 
So after the base of Laoda, we found ourselves at this base of this guy, which name I totally cannot pronounce, so I'm not even going to be trying this. But uh, if I take a look at this base, this base is actually very interesting. Uh, you see, everything is maxed out when it comes down to the boom cannons and the rocket launchers, and that is a problem on itself. So what I'm going to be doing, once again, smoky hookah attack strategy, and this time around, we're going to be making our way to the left side, where we're going to be taking out this mortar over here. And after the mortar is gone, we're going to also eliminate the machine gun. Which is going to be getting wiped out in one hit as well. And then as you guys can see, we have a great walking path to make our way up to where we need to be. So how about we just go ahead and try this one out. We're going to be walking to the mine. <laughs> getting everything in there. And after everything is gathered around... We're going to be walking straight to that location we need to be at. Let's drop the smokes because we need to drop them. And let's make our way onto there. We are going to be losing some Zookas. But you know what? I'm not really too bothered. I'm not really too concerned with that. Uh, I think we're going to be doing just fine. So we're walking there right now. Let me actually go ahead and drop the med kit. Because my Zookas that way can actually go ahead and heal up. And after we healed up, we're going to be dropping... A flare, and then we're gonna be uh, taking care of everything. We're gonna be dropping another mid kit onto the Zookas, uh, and then it's pretty much already done. It's pretty much already done. Once again, not a whole lot of casualties. I feel that the most casualties came from. I feel that the most casualties came from me and my walking path, and uh, this was a very nice and clean takedown. Well, I suppose I I did have a lot of casualties, but how about the next base? We're not even going to take a look at what the base is all about. I feel I have one more base left to take out. Yes, I do. And this base is going to be uh, the base of KK. We're just going to attack him. We're not even going to look what this base is consisting of. And then let's actually make our way up here. So I'm going to be uh, eliminating the rocket launchers, which uh, is a nice and smart move to do, at least from my side. And they almost get taken out entirely, which is okay. I don't mind that much that they don't get wiped out in one go. Let's drop our units over here. And shock these three buildings. Because that gives us some time. The boom cannons aren't not going to be that much in the way. So that's a great thing. The doom cannon however is actually doing a ton of damage onto our units. So taking that one out right. Getting two critters at each side for every single uh, uh, shock launcher in there. And uh, just distract everything. Then moving our way to the right side. I think that shock launch at the left side is going to be getting wiped out. The one at the right side is already gone. So we're in a good position right now. Let's go ahead and shock once more. The, build uh, the buildings. The, the both boom cannons right there. And let's go ahead and uh, drop a med kit as well. Over here. Because we need the med kits. We need the med kits to survive. How about we go ahead and target the headquarters right now. And go for the kill. And that means that we're going to be taking down this base in one second. There you go. KK goes down. And today I feel we we sort of had hard bases. Some of them were pretty hard. Uh, but I really kind of noticed that I get to work my way around those bases fairly easily. Uh, if I have the troops to do it. Because usually it was a problem for me. And by the way, I got a critical fuse. Usually it was a huge problem for me to take out bases, but right now, uh, because I have those diamonds to uh, to uh, get everything running, I feel it's not that much of a big problem anymore, and I kind of see myself get into the top 50 relatively soon in the near future. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's episode. We definitely have enough resources to get this cannon into the works. We actually got overflow, and that's a good thing. And pretty soon, take a look at this, we are currently upgrading our tanks to level 12, to level 13. So this one's going to be maxed out as well. So expect to see some tank gameplay into the near future as well. So yeah, that's going to be doing it for the quest to top 50. Before we go, let's actually see what ranking we are at right now. Uh, for my friends, I'm currently at rank 11 with 855 uh, 55 victory points. And take a look at this, rank 258 on the local Dutch leaderboards. And globally, I am currently on rank 27,796. So yeah, that's going to be doing it for this episode of Boom Beach. I hope that you guys enjoyed this trophy pushing episode. Uh, make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. To stay updated with episodes that are bringing out around Boom Beach. And that being said, as always, make sure that if you guys like this video too. Boom!
boom, give it a thumbs up. And this has been Reverse for Boom Beach. I'm going to be signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next one.